The <laughs> execution. And for a while, it says Gary Clitter to be executed. And I was thinking, <laughs> that is a show. <laughs> Gary's going to come down, we're going to get that. <laughs> 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 Gary doing that trademark like that. That's, that's the execution. Yeah. And they really build it up. I was thinking he's going to whip the wig off for the electrode. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gary, give him a show. <laughs> it never happened. He got, what, three years? It's From execution to three years. Got it. <laughs> uh, yes, obviously, it is Elvis Presley in a tree. But it is an uncanny coincidence, of course, because Elvis was killed by an awkwardly shaped log. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, who is on this iron? Is it Jesus? I think it might be the hair, might be G Cher, Cher or Jesus. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you a clue. Football and irritating. Kevin uh, Keegan? No. Irritating pundit. Jimmy Football. Hill. Yes, ah. it's Jimmy Hill. <laughs> <laughs> this was discovered by Scotsman Brian Martin. The Daily Record asked Jimmy Hill to comment and instantly regretted it. <laughs> <laughs> At number three, you may notice that the back of his head is missing. Oh, Kennedy. J John F. Kennedy. Brilliant coxie. Brilliant. Yeah. It is JFK. Tell yep, you, President Kennedy. It, spotted it, in some rocks. There is actually a mountain in America where the faces of some presidents, you can actually make out <laughs> really quite... It is uncanny. We've know, actually know got, we've got that is. here, I think. See if you can spot them. There. <laughs> At number two, who is this in a gatepost in the street? There's not many celebrities with bird shit for eyes, though, is there? <laughs> it's a bit like the true in Shroud and Roy, look at it. Maybe Jesus pushed his head up against it. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> the gatepost is in Liverpool, where he used to live. John Lennon. Yes, it is John Lennon. And oh. Keith Andrews there is uh, an old childhood friend of Lennon's. As you can see, he was the walrus. <laughs> <laughs> and at number one, who can we see here? Oh, it's the kitten. Karen Carpenter. <laughs> is it Rasputin? It is Rasputin. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. The Russian Rasputin in a kitten's ear. How did Rasputin die? Cyanide, then shot, then hurled in a river, and, and then when they... fell in a cat's ear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was poisoned, clubbed, shot three times, then thrown into an icy river, where his body remained for three days. Police recorded a verdict of suicide. <laughs> so, worst team at the moment is David and Alan, but still plenty to play for in part two. See you in a minute. Welcome back to Best of the Worst, and it's time to ask which ends the worst. Two video clips, just one question. Which is going to end in the worst way? The first clip is from Australia, and it's this. So, bomb. Uh, uh. There it is. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, it'll go. Ooh, yeah. So that's explosives in a melon, yeah? Then you have a lucky mate to go to the hospital. Oh, sweet. Uh, hospital. Some hospital. That's the Weak dudes go to hospitals. <laughs> Weak dudes go to hospitals. <laughs> yes. And also people who've just had their heads blown off by <laughs> Think you'll be there later with his brain showing. Yes. No, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when you see that kind of thing happening, you think this is why we need a major world war every generation. Yeah. <laughs> In order for young people like that, with the urge for self-destruction, to have some German guns to run at. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than just pointlessly ruining a perfectly delicious melon. Or just, just <laughs> running into battle with dynamite on there. Yes. <laughs> right then, light the fuses for the yeah. morons. <laughs> Go off any minute, sir. Well, run, man, run! Well, regiment of suicide morons ready for duty, <laughs> sir! Treat you, mate. Hospital schmoss with it. Here is the second clip, and it's from Russia. To me, there's a few things here. One, that is a shit band, yeah? <laughs> I'm sure that's a band. That could be some sort of art yes. installation. Yes. Look at the things yes. in the background. But Dave, you think, if the band are that bad, how bad are the guys who rigged the stage up? <laughs> what I notice here is driving rain, bad band, 
electrics. That is a health and safety nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> Sticking the electric mic so into sticking, the rain. What can I do yeah. to really get this crowd going? Look at them, I'm going, ya la 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 la. <laughs> they're not responding, it's driving <laughs> right. Because they've, they've ran off, they've seen that it's all going to explode yeah. any minute. That's why there's no na 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 back. So like, yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> I think what they've done wrong as well here is that they've put that much money inside the disabled facilities with the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> What happened next is whatever's going to come funny. down that ramp. Maybe it's some guy's head attached to a watermelon lands in the middle of the stage. <laughs> right, now it's which end's the worst, so which of these two clips is going to end the worst? I think that the Russian guys, because if that turns to custard, the guy with the melon on his head, if that goes tits up, we wouldn't be allowed to show this on telly, because that is simply a guy's head coming off. <laughs> That's the deer hunter, right that, there. That really is. <laughs> You've got to go by the principle that the worst things in history ever always happen in Russia. <laughs> Absolutely you know, right. right. Back, with the, back with the war theme, in every yeah. world war, X people die, half of them are always Russians. Oh. Even though Russia's usually on the winning side. <laughs> so they, they say at the beginning of the war, however many of your guys die, yeah. we'll match. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the melon? Why do you think no, the melon? No, no, I, I think the watermelon is going to end up fine. I think it's just going to little by and I just think it's going to have a delicious starter. Coxie, <laughs> 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 so what do you reckon? I just can't stop watching his white jeans at the moment. <laughs> You're thing. That's why I'm with it. hoping he dies. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you're both going to go with Russia. Let's take a look, starting with this one. <laughs> Hospital, <laughs> schmospital. <laughs> go on. <laughs> <All good. laughs> <laughs> then he turns around and you can see his brain. <laughs> the watermelon is actually a vegetable, as is the Australian, after trying the same stunt with just a tad more dynamite. <laughs> so did our Russian rockers come to the worst end? Let's just take a look. La, 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 la. The band played on. <laughs> wow. In Russia, they just think it's part of the act. <laughs> Good man. She gets up and starts dancing. <laughs> he looks like he's played worse gigs. <laughs> What's the big deal? Yeah. So the sets for the melon and two women crushed. This is Russia, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Teddy, when the world ends, the people of that country won't notice. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is the same set designer has just got the contract for James Blunt's next tour. <laughs> so, by a knockout, the Russian clip ended the worst. The points, therefore, go to both teams. All to play for now as we turn to the wall of worst, our final quickfire round, one point per question, so fingers on buzzers. Oh, we start with worst bag. What's this bag designed to contain? Uh, David now. Is that just a very tiny woman who refuses to travel light? <laughs> <laughs> tiny bag. New thing in Amsterdam, people can have a prostitute with them at all times. They buy them at the airport. <laughs> Shag bag. The Scots call it a shag bag, everyone else tiny bag. In America it's a hooker hold all a a hooker hold all. <laughs> yeah, I could have a bum bag. Yeah. Could I? <laughs> it's Alan's bum bag. <laughs> undertaker? She's a jet setting undertaker. I'll give you the point. This bag is designed to contain a dead body. It is in fact a coffin. What do you oh. think happens to the tiny bag at the end of the holiday? <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with killing What's a prostitute? <laughs> Worst sheep. What's special about this Romanian sheep? Johnny. Does he just refuse to fit in? <laughs> Obviously some sort of hilarious deformity, you know, an extra leg. Is yes, it? exactly right. Oh. He has got, he's got five legs. God's <laughs> sake. You 